Ready? Ready. So, hello everyone. Um, welcome back to another episode, which was going to be on two podcasts, isn't it, Jordan? So it's going to be really fun. It is going to be fun. So, so, so let's so let's start this out. So, I'll edit out the, the beginning of this. But all right. Um, hey, everybody. This is Jordan McConnell with the Crohn's Veteran Podcast and. Mason Milne of the, the Crohn's and Autism Awareness Advocate podcast. And, and we're here with a special World IBD Day episode, uh, you know, celebrating folks with Crohn's, with Crohn's disease, ulcerative colitis, and, you know, and related IBD conditions all over the world. And Mason's, you know, sh you know showing out love with, a, with, a, with an awesome background. Yeah, yeah. I, I thought today, for anyone watching, um, that it's World IBD Day, so... Why not do a background of the world? <laughs> right, 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 right. And so, um, so we're and so we wanted to talk about you know in order to you know you know bring awareness to you know to folks uh, out there. You know, uh, Mason and I, uh, we said both host our own podcast, and and you know and we wanted to you know uh, talk talk about you know the background of those shows. You know, how, you know how we came up with them. You know why you know why we do what we do. And uh, and uh, what we hope to accomplish in the future with you know with our platforms, and you know and what you know what these shows have you know and have meant to us you know and how they have impacted how they impacted our lives as well as others. Yeah, I I, I completely agree, and like um, it seems that well I know I think it's twenty twenty um I think we both started our shows I think it was Jordan wasn't it um because we started right. assembly times uh near enough the same time but um, yeah. um because we. We kind of connected at first on on Instagram. Um, I think you you sent me a message to for a live, and then ever since then we've still stayed in contact with our shows. Yep, yep. Actually, like um, I was doing some lives, I believe, like maybe late twenty nineteen and uh, twenty maybe early twenty twenty, and um, and then yeah, maybe we had we had done a show, and I you know I I met you and. And then, um, and then you started your show first. This is, you know, you, know you, you started your show first. And then I was like, man, I think you were like maybe 18 or something at the time. Yeah. And, so, and, so, and, and so I was like, oh my gosh, you know, here I am like, you know, 30 something years old and this, I'm like, oh, should I do a podcast? Should I do a podcast? And, you know, and this guy's like 18 years old. He has Crohn's also. He's not scared. You know, he's not, you know, he's, you know, he's being, you know, you know, you know, bringing awareness to all this stuff. So if he can do it, I can do it. And so that's why I started my show you know after you yeah yeah I, I think it was good because I was just starting off like at that, at that stage it was the logo wasn't what it looks like now um it was nothing was the same like I probably changed it the name as well a couple of times well twice I, I'd say um first I say my journey with Crohn's disease it was called and then I changed it to Crohn's and talk and talk Crohn's and autism awareness advocate where we speak about that about that kind of stuff on my show um because I feel like it, it's good when you speak about multiple things, not just one thing on a podcast. Mm -hmm. Yep, yep. You know that's you know I've um, you know I've I've been trying to work on a little bit you know uh, you know broadening that out. And so I just had you know um, in addition to you know, speaking with folks with you know Crohn's with Crohn's disease, you know colitis and all that stuff, I've been speaking to folks that you know um, you know have other relate kind of are, are related to my own life, you know and. You know, in different ways, so, so 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 people can kind of know who the Crohn's veteran is, you know, you know, a little bit more. Because I've just been kind of just sharing, uh, sharing just the you know Crohn's diagnosis part of my life a lot. And so I think it's you know, but I'm not I'm not just Crohn's. You know, I, I have a job and all those other kind of things. And so it's been so I'm trying to you know share kind of you know the whole personal you know a little bit more you know in my platform. Yeah, I think it's good because. I think you had a bit, a bit of a break, didn't you, Jordan? Like from from, from doing your podcast and just starting to get back into it. I did, I did, and so like, and so, and, and so, yeah. So for uh, folks that yeah that, that don't know, again, you know, I started my show. I've done, I've done about sixty episodes with you know with, with myself and my and my two co-hosts, you know, at, at the time. And um, but it said again, I was doing this show, which I started during, which I started you know making during COVID, or my platform I started during COVID, and so I was doing that. I was still trying to, you know, uh, you know, be, uh, you know, employed, you know, and having a job and stuff. And so, uh, and then I was working on like uh, side projects and all this stuff. And so long story short, I, you know, I burned myself out, you know, in a big, big, big way. And so, uh, and so, uh, 
and so I, you know, so everything everything with you know got, got put on the back burner pretty much you know besides my family and my job, and so for for a little for a little while, and so um just to kind of focus on healing and you know being you know being you know just a healthier person so, uh because you can't you know, be an advocate for you know a chronic illness or whatever if your own cup is empty, right? Yeah. And so and so um so so and, and my cup had has become completely empty with you know trying to do uh all this stuff for other people but not doing enough for myself and so uh and so th and so this 2022 has been you know all about you know making sure that myself and my family and my and what i need to do is you know coming first and that's kind of what the rest of the year the rest of my life is kind of looking like you know just making sure that um yeah just take this just, just making sure that i'm taking care of my own needs healthy boundaries uh self-care self-love you know all these fun things and so um so i can be um not only physically healthy with Crohn's, hopefully. But you know, but also mentally and spiritually healthy, healthy as well. Yeah, I I completely agree. I, it's important, isn't it? Like just to make sure you're doing all right, um, because to can do a podcast anytime, <laughs> can't we? Yeah. Um, but I suppose I never had a proper break at all yet, um, which I'm planning to. I'm planning to have a nice break in the summer, um, mm -hmm. which is why for my podcast and. To, to ones listening will know that like to do in advance uh, over here on my end because uh, find it much easier um um if you keep it frequently um so so yeah the later part of this year I, I, I do plan to have a good nice break um even though I'll probably be a bit sad <laughs> in, in a way because it's something that keeps me busy and uh, I don't have a natural job because of COVID and everything um which, mm -hmm. is, which is quite annoying uh, but um if I did have a job I would I probably um well a job not a podcasting job um it will probably um i probably wouldn't be as active doing the podcasting all the time you said yeah you said like excuse me yeah so that's a good question like you know if you know if you can you know wave a magic wand and know and have any career that you would like um you know what would that be um it's always been like uh, it's, it's like i had actually a conversation with someone recently and uh, i said about what i want to do and uh, well, well, what I like to do anyway, um, it was quite funny because they affect probably Crohn's massively. <laughs> what I want to do, I'll probably be shattered at the end of the day. Like um, acting is something I always like to do. Um, people mm. who, who know me will know I like um, I like like shows like um, well, Dot Two, for example. I do quite a lot of videos beside of having a, a chronic illness, just to my hobby. I, I like doing that um and they could good thing about having a podcast is i meet so many people who are interested in that too um right um with dr who and, and and which is why jordan I, I i thought of doing a series later on in the year about a uh, call uh, based around autism and dr who um because um um and i i thought it's a special interest with many people in the autism community too so i thought um actually starting to record that now um so um late last month early early may and then uh yeah it's gonna, it's gonna go on to then but yeah that, that that is um something i would like to do acting but it's very hard with it's a very hard job um and sports coaching like football like over in the uk of course we call it different to uh, over there in america don't we jordan <laughs> it always gets mixed up doesn't it <laughs> <laughs> you, know, you got to say American football just so, you yeah. know, just so people know what you're talking about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, um, American football in America and football over here in the UK. And um, I'm a sport, a football coach. I've got, I've got my qualified. Um, I'm all qualified. Uh, I got my. Um, I did my things before before COVID hit, and then yeah, that's what I want to do. And I've got I've got opportunities, but it's just hoping things over here calm down because there's there's no restrictions anymore um so so yeah well, well awesome like what you're hurting here first you know you know anybody anybody out there listening you know hire mason for you know well-paid acting gigs so yeah so he, he's yeah. ready so, yeah yeah it'd be nice to get paid once in a while <laughs> no well-paid very very well-paid acting gigs that's what mason needs right now so so <laughs> but, um but um you know, yeah, like I want to see you. I want to see you in movies. I want to see you on Netflix. I want to see you everywhere. So. Yeah, yeah, it'd be, it'd be nice being a nice, nice and Netflix film. I watch them uh, mm -hmm. too much, so uh, I don't know if I watch me though. <laughs> <laughs> uh, um, I have a um, 
And, you know, I have a friend uh, that, that, that I grew up with that, um, you know, yeah, it was the same thing, like uh, acting, you know, a comedian, a stand-up comedian, like uh, all this stuff. And, you know, to me, like, that's a, it's, 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 it's a very, like, liberating free, you know, like, you know, it's a very liberating career and stuff like that. But yeah, it is, to get traction is very, it's difficult. You know, because there's there's so many there's so many talented people, and there's there's this you know really man. I think from I think besides being talented and besides knowing people and stuff like that, and besides having connections, it's just like out hustling and out working people. You know, being consistently and showing showing up and stuff. Like um, that's in you know, my own humble opinion. I don't you know I don't I don't know I don't know for sure, but um, but I would, but, I, but I but I do know that just you know. Just, just by looking at you know, uh, 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 like other folks, that it's, it's, it's difficult to, you know, you can be very talented, but actually getting, you know, put on, you know, is very, you know, it's hard, it's hard. And so, um, but that doesn't mean that you know, people should give up on their dreams, it's, you know, you just gotta go get it, you know, yeah. not give up. And so, you know, I would say to you, like, you know, doing what you, just keep, you know, just, just keep doing what you're doing, man, you know, follow those dreams. Like, you know, I said, that's why you gotta, if you want to be a football coach, if you want to do acting, if you want to do both, if you want to do, you know, this show, if you want to, you know, people got to know, people got to know what you, you know, what you're, what you're out there trying to do, you know, while you're doing, you know, type of thing. And while you're, while you're trying to make it happen yourself, you know, let people know that, hey, you know, I'm, I'm trying to, and I'm trying to work on this goal. I'm trying to work on this dream. You know, can you help me? Yeah. Type thing. And so on that, you know, and, you know, like, how can I be of service to you? you know? Yeah. So. Yeah, um, I think it's, it's, it's something like you need a job that you're interested in, like um, that you like to do. I think. Right. So, yeah. Um, so yeah. So like, so for so for folks that don't know Mason, you know, since this is the you know World IBD episode, uh, you know, you know, you know, like you know, kind of summarize, you know, your own uh diagnosis with you know with Crohn's, and you know, and let folks know, let folks know, you know, what you go through. Yeah. So um. Uh, what, what I love about this episode that it's going to be on both podcasts so um, people who listen to mine probably not going to know Jordan so it's going to be nice after I explain a bit about me and then we go over to Jordan um, but uh, a bit about me um, my diagnosis like, I was diagnosed with Crohn's, Crohn's disease in 2017 um, October of 2017 and that whole year was uh, probably a difficult year um, I I, uh, I lost quite a lot of weight Um and didn't understand why, and I wasn't eating too, and had quite a lot of pain um, in my butt, in my right hand side, like, in my inside my stomach, uh, kind of like you know, fire and acidity, um, and and yet um, it seems a long time ago, <laughs> 2017 for me, um, even though it it wasn't. I would like to be in back in well, I would like to know more at that time when I was diagnosed. Um, because I didn't know anything. I didn't know about IBD and mm. inflammatory bowel disease and didn't know what Crohn's was. And I and it took time to kind of understand it. And that's why I, I created my page in an awareness so I, I publicly to raise awareness of Crohn's. Um, and and that, that was in 2020, uh, kind of similar to the time when we, me and Jordan kind of met and connected with one another. Um, and it, it it was it was a very interesting as well, um, but but yeah, like I am, um, I was put on quite a lot of medication, and, and still I am. I still take me, um, medication every day, um, which which of people, it can be it can be hard for being on medication because you don't want to, <laughs> but although at the same time it helps, it can help us. Um, but you know we're having Crohn's disease, we just never know what's going to happen tomorrow, so. Um, right. we've got um, like, like like we said like um, we had to cancel a few times like uh, a podcast even uh, or even just meeting up with people in general um, so yeah that's about me and I to get diagnosed I had a kind of lost a pee um, which was which was hard I'd say because I never had one before so <laughs> um, it, it was I've had but since then I did have a sigmoid lost a pee last year um, just to check everything um so yeah that that's like my diagnosis uh, i'm doing a, um i say i'm doing it quite better now because i haven't really experienced that pain i did for a while but you still get other symptoms like fatigue and stuff like that so um that's a little bit about me if you uh 
if you if, if you want to hear about my story a little bit there. Cool. Well, thank you for sharing that. And um, you know, again, if you want to hear you know more of Mason's story, you can you know definitely you know you know go on his Instagram and check him out and check out his show. I uh, definitely definitely encourage people folks to do so. Um, for me, uh, you know my you know my my Crohn's was a little bit further back. You know, I was diagnosed with Crohn's in October, nineteen ninety five. Um, and then, uh, when, and when I was in ninth grade, uh, and so I had my I had my appendix removed at the time. Um, it was exploratory, kind of emergency surgery. Um, I had my uh, my six inches of my colon taken out. Um, just like Mason, I didn't know what Crohn's was, IBD was, any of that stuff was at the time. Um, but I didn't know that I was, you know, on Friday I was fine, and on Sunday I had Crohn's disease. And so, um, and so it was pretty fast, yeah. you know, for you know for me. And, uh, and so, and then actually, I was actually pretty healthy for the next 14 years. Um, I was, you know, healthy enough to join the military, you know, hence the Crohn's veteran and the camo and all that kind of stuff. Um, so I would, so I did five years active duty and a year, uh, in the, um, California Air National Guard and then, and then, uh, two and a half, about two and a half years in the Nebraska Air National Guard, um, in the Air Force and stuff. And so, um, but then uh, I got sick again in 2009 when I was in the Air National Guard. And so uh, that resulted in me going to the emergency room about three or four times. Um, you know, I also lost weight. Um, you know, I was just in just an agonizing pain, you know, every day, you know, I lost my job, I lost my car, um, I lost, you know, pretty much everything, you know, in that, in that six month, you know, time frame and lost my health. And so the, uh, so the third time I think I went to the hospital, I got a temporary ostomy. Uh, ileostomy, I believe it's called. And then, uh, and then the fourth time I went to the hospital, all for, you know, pain, emergency room type stuff. Uh, the very last time I went to the hospital um, is when they actually uh, took another 18 inches of my colon out and they uh, took my ileum out. And that whole hospital experience from what I've been told, I was, you know, um, was just, you know, pretty traumatic. I mean, actually, I was there, but I mean, but the whole, just the experience itself was just very traumatic, and I, I had a, I had no effective anesthesia after that surgery for about forty-eight hours, and so, so, so I had this, you know, you know, gigantic incision, you know, that went all the way down the front of my stomach, around my belly button, and everything that was all stapled, you know, all the way down, and, um, and so, you know, I, you know, I had all this, you know, cut out of me, and I had no anesthesia for about two days because, you know, you're probably wondering well, how, why that happened. And the reason that happened is that they gave you like a morphine drip um, in the hospital or whatever. And they said, okay, yeah, push this button. And if you push this button, you know, it will go to your stomach and, you know, the incision and you know, you'll feel better. The problem was when I pushed that button, instead of the incision going numb, my right leg went numb. And so, and so which is not good. And so, and so, and uh, so, what, so what they did is actually uh, pulled out the epidural. And, you know, uh, which is usually which is usually used for pregnant women when they're giving birth. But I had this epidural on my back uh, for my surgery, so they so they wheeled me into um, a uh, the hot, into another room and pulled the epidural out of my back, um, and then put the epidural back in my back, and then they wheeled me back into the room, and then I pushed the button again, and then my left leg went. Down. So. They, and so, so it was. So it was never. So I never had any effective anesthesia. It may be. And so, that, so the second day, I think they finally figured it out. And so, and so, so with that plus catheters plus um, tubes taken out and all these things, like you know, it's it's been, it was pretty traumatic. And so, um, so I would say. And so on top of all that tra trauma, you know, I actually um, that you know all that sickness made me you know in, in kind of ineligible to be um, in the military. And so, because I actually got a letter saying that, hey, because of this surgery, because of Crohn's disease, uh, you can't be anywhere in the world with limited medical supplies. And then, and then, I, and then, maybe the next week or so, I got a uh, letter in the mail, and it was, it was an honorable discharge from the military. And so, very anticlimactic. And so, but, and so, fast forward uh, to you know the last few years, I you know I finally you know got better jobs and stuff, and 
I was able to get better insurance. And so I started going to the doctor more. So I started getting colonoscopies and, you know, because I already knew I had Crohn's and stuff. And so, um, so then, so I got put on Remicade for, for, for a while. Um, actually, there's another drug before that. Um, but that, like, that uh, maybe it's like a Stelara type drug or something that you give, like, I, I get like a shot of your stomach. But, um, but eventually I got on Remicade and um, I, I, I took, they ended up taking that for maybe a couple of years. And the doctors were saying, hey, you know, um, you, should be, you should be fine, you should be feeling better, but that was not the case. And so um, and it turned out I, because of the ileum being removed, I have bile acid malabsorption in addition to Crohn's disease. Um, so I got put on a medicine called Prevolite. Prevolite actually helps me digest Crohn's friendly food pretty normally. So, and, and so, uh, so with, you know, a uh, healthy lifestyle, low stress medicine, I can actually have some kind of semblance of remission, but that's, you know, that's still a tremendous amount of work. And, um, and again, the medicine that I do have doesn't solve Crohn's, doesn't solve biological malabsorption, it just treats it. And so um, that's a very clear distinction. You know, there, I, I have no effective, I have no effective actual solution. I just have treatment. And so, um, so at that, so, but it makes me feel well enough, just enough to be able to talk to Mason today, to be able to have this show, to, you know, to be able to continue to work, to be able to continue to take care of my family. So I am extremely grateful that, you know, that um, I have medicine, I have my health and, uh, you know, and that I have, you know, um, this platform to, you know, to not only, you know, share this, you know, to not only share the stories of other people that are going through, you know, uh, Crohn's related stuff, IBS stuff, but also you know a little bit of my story too. Yeah, yeah, I think it's good that we can like, just come on here, have a, have a chat, and just talk about our journeys. And I think mm-hmm. I think IBD Day comes around once a year, but um, I don't think I've actually done a, an episode on my podcast based around it. Um, um, I, I don't know about you, Jordan, like because I've never really done it about IBD. I thought no, I, 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 my podcast is quite well based around RBD but I've done a specific episode on RBD day yeah I don't think I've done a specific I think that I I might have started my um Crohn's veteran like Instagram account on world IBD day you oh. know like this and so like um, this is a little fun fact I guess you know that <laughs> but, but um but as far as like doing like specific content or any of that kind of stuff not not so I don't think so I don't think so and so, this, so this is why it's kind of fun, you know, me being here, in, me being here in Las Vegas, you know, you, you, you being over there in the UK, kind of, you know, it really, it really kind of brings you know, both sides together, you know, and, and lets folks know that, you know, that uh, Crohn's disease, you know, IBD, it doesn't matter where you're from or what you look like, you know, it can, you know, uh, you know, everybody needs support. Definitely, definitely, I don't mm-hmm. think so, because it's, it's, it's really important because, um, like I do like these awareness days that they do. Um, it kind of is special, but we we do raise awareness that all the time, well, most of the year anyway, um, when we can. Um, it may not I I may not on my podcast do every episode about Crohn's or ulcerative colitis or IBD. Um, like it's it's why it's good to mix these things out. Um, because um, it is I think it is Crohn's and colitis awareness month as well this month I believe. I think I think that's what happens in May anyway. I'm not sure because we get so many of these awareness days, don't we? <laughs> we do, we do. I mean, so they you know so we are that's a good that's a good thing is that you know IBD Crohn's is getting is trying to get some love. You know, it seems like you know, every every day on TV there's a new commercial that's trying to, you know, sell some drug, at least in America, trying to sell some drug that you know that, that treats Crohn's disease. And so I mean, but you know, it used to be not it used to be like not like that at all. It used to be like people didn't know. So it's really cool to kind of you know, see, you know, uh, you know, issues, you know, related to, you know, the IBD community getting, like, getting, getting, like, getting a lot more publicity like that, you know, I think it's really important. Um, so, yeah, so, like, so what do you, you know, so, um, you know, speaking of waving a magic wand, you know, if you can wave a magic wand and, you know, and your platform, your show is, you know, where you want it to be, you know, your ultimate vision for that, what would that be? It would be that um, <laughs> um, I, me and Jordan have a, we spoke this quite a lot like about, about our show and where, where we want to do with them um, because like um, for me I, I didn't think I would um, 
I suppose it was more of a hobby to start with to do this kind of podcast thing because I didn't know what podcast was um, when I actually created my show. Um, like, I, I think, it, yeah, I, I, I don't know where it was. So I had to look where it was and then you go on Spotify and you have a look. And um, I used to kind of, end of last year, start of this year, putting um, video forms on YouTube, um, which I think is awesome. Like, it offers people a watchable audience too. Um, but things that I'd want to do or see is like merchandise. It'd be nice for people to have, uh, but buy, buy, buy my logo or or or, or like um, on shirts and cups and like you know, your coffee cup if you you like your coffees <laughs> and, and and stuff like that and and beyond. Let's have a not have a good website going um, and and a place where people can actually um, book in. Um, like if like, I still like to ask people myself. But it's just a chance of people, if they are interested and they didn't want to come in, um, they can have that chance. And I, I'd love to get paid. <laughs> I would. I, I'd like to get paid for for doing what I'm doing because at the moment it's just something I choose to do. Um, yeah. like, like I said, I said at the beginning, it's not. I don't. It's not. I have a job, but I have a specific job. I just do it because I like to, and I, I give other people the platform for them to share their story um, to me. And then we, yeah, like, I, I, I try to make a good conversation out of it. And, like, it'd be, not, it'd be a reward, I suppose, if that did happen someday. Um, but, like, because, yeah, it, it would be nice um, if you if you agree there, Jordan. Yeah, I would definitely agree, man. I think it's, I think there's not, there's nothing to be, you know, embarrassed or anything, having any shame or whatever, you know, for, you know, for feeling that you should be compensated for the, for the time and effort you put in, you know, you know to, to your show. And so, like, you know, I think, I think it's, you know, that's to me, like, you know, you're providing, you know, a lot of value to people. And I think it's to me, like uh, striving to be, to kind of offset, you know, your time is okay. And so, um, and so um, that's what, you know, it's, I'm the same way with, with this show, like it's a labor of love, right? And so like, you know, it's, you know, it kind of comes, it comes, it comes from the heart. It's not, you know, it's, you know, and the idea, you know, beyond just, you know, offsetting my time a little bit, the, the greater the greater goal is to uplift and change and impact people's lives and all over the world. And so, you know, I you know um so that's the that's the ultimate goal. And so, you know, with uh so with me, with you know Crohn's veteran, not only do I want to, you know, talk to and impact and uplift people with IBD conditions again worldwide, you know, internationally, that's what that's my ultimate that's my real passion is just listening to stories. And listening to experiences and perspectives from as many walks of life as possible, you know, I love doing it. it makes me very happy. And also, not only that, you know, I also want to, you know, generate, you know, revenue, you know, generate money here, like a lot of it, you know, not for myself, but to, you know, but to, you know, help people with IBD, you know, in in in, in, in many different ways, fun ways. Like it could be, you know, fundraisers. It could be. Um, like scholarship programs, you know, it could be paying off medical bills, you know, it could be, you know, fun trips, it could be, you know, like, you know, like a romantic getaway, it could be, you know, a bathroom renovation, whatever, you know, like just, you know, you know, whatever makes, you know, whatever makes that person with IBD's life better, you know, to me, like, you know, you need a, you know, you need to have a lot of money inflow, a lot of cash flow, you know, coming in so that can flow out and help other people, right? And so, and so to me, there's nothing wrong again, with, you know, wanting to be, you know, uh, you know, financially flush, you know, through, you know, through these platforms. And so again, you can, you know, use that, you know, abundance to, you know, to, you know, to add joy to other people's lives. Yeah. And so that's what, and so that's what I want to do. That's my ultimate goal is to, you know, is to be able to, you know, spread the love, you know, and um, ease and ease the burdens of people with IBD. So, yeah, I, I think it's it is it is nice. Like, like you can you just give people a chance, don't you, to talk about IBD and inflammatory bowel disease. And I I, I recently updated. Well, it's something I I, mean, I do. I, I like to hear about other people's cr chronic illnesses too, because um there are others out there other than Crohn's or Crohn's IBD, um that they're out there and like we when we only know about Crohn's because we have it ourselves, um. Right. I don't think we we were if we might have known it now because it is more common. Um, like you, you go out and you say I've got Crohn's disease and 
they say they know what it is, but they might they may not they may not they say that, but they may not. Um, it's just more. I think it's more common. Uh, I think as you get diagnosed, you probably you hear that kind of stuff. But yeah, I uh, I spoke to a few people on my show about different other chronic illnesses, and I think it's I think it's good because like we learn about we're learning as well, aren't we, on our shows and about uh, about different things. We have. I mean, it's um, two things. One is that I have learned, you know, so much, like just from listening to other people's experiences, like. You know, people like who, because it's just, it's so, I mean, like Crohn's disease and IBD, IBD stuff is such, it's, it's such a range of, you know, realities. You know, it could be like, you know, I had a stomach ache and I started taking some medicine and I started feeling better. And then now, and then my life is pretty close to normal. So, all the way to the opposite, polar opposite of that, to where, you know, you've had dozens of surgeries, you know, your whole colon taken out. You know, all these, you know, all these different, you know, traumatic, you know, traumatic life altering, you know, you know, uh, PTSD or whatever, you know, inducing, you know, scenarios or whatever. And so, I mean, and, and, then, and then everything in between. And so, and this, and I'm just, you know, I'm just so grateful for people, you know, coming onto my show uh, and, you know, and sharing that because, you know, I learned, I get a lot out of it myself, you know, it's not, you know, it's a, it's everybody wins, you know, like, you know, I, I really, you know, we're able to, you know, provide value and provide, you know, a lived experiences for the audience. And also, you know, I also get, you know, that personal, um, that personal enlightenment myself. And so, um, you know, and then the second thing is that, you know, I just wanted to go back a little bit about, you know, about where I want to see the show, you know, where I want to see the platform. Um, you know, this hat that I have on, you know, means the world to me. And, you know, and I, you know, I wear it everywhere. On the back, it says Crohn's Vet, right, in a, right, in a right above it. And, you know, I, I know I live this. And, you know, and, um, and to me, the idea that people wear Crohn's veteran stuff, you know, um, out there in the world just, you know, is the coolest thing because if somebody sees my shirt or a or hat or any of those kind of things and says, hey, what's that? You know, you can say, yeah, it's for Crohn's disease awareness. Bam, you know, somebody, you know, you know, you know, has become, you know, literally aware about the kind of things that we go through. And so I want, you know, I want this merch, this, you know, this uh, lifestyle brand, this merchandise, you know, I want to sell a lot of it again. So, you know, for kind of, you know, for, you know, again, a win-win, you know, not, you know, not only, you know, you know, am I able to help a lot of people by, you know, with, with the money that I make from it, but also all, all those people wearing it, you know, brings, you know, again, awareness to IBD related issues. So, that's, you know, so I'm really focused on not only growing the show, but also growing the brand itself, too. Yeah, I think I think that'd be good, like, I, to do, really, wouldn't it? Because, like, I haven't, um, I haven't done anything like that on my show. I've just, I've just been recording and recording and recording. Um, but, like, um, it, it, it would be nice to have that kind of thing, like, like you have merchandise to give out, like, people... Like, like to have and I like to say they've been on the show and stuff and uh people reach out um quite recently I had a fair few people reaching out to, to want to come on and and I, I think that's awesome like I think it's good you know your show's doing well if, if people are reaching out to you and um and and stuff because it's it's rewarding and like um like like it's not like it's not about the money for me I like um I'm more than happy to do it um me too and yeah, me too like, you know I, I mean I, yeah I mean I, I I did you know 60 episodes I mean or I think I'm on 63 right now but the idea yeah I I just love doing it like you know I you know the the I would maybe like you know a better recording you know situation you know for the show and stuff like that but you know I I just love doing it you know it you know it's kind of like that's the reason I'm back that's the reason that the break is over is because you know, I love doing this. It makes me happy. You know, I get, you know, I feel like um, not, you know, not only am I getting all this satisfaction out of it, but I'm, you know, I'm doing something that's, you know, bigger than me. And, you know, I'm trying to get, trying to get back to my community, you know, and help others, all this, all this fun stuff. It's very satisfying. So. Yeah, yeah I, I I agree. And I think it's, yeah, it's, it's something that we, we enjoy to do. And we, and we, 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 we do have breaks. Like, it's good to have them sort of breaks, like mm -hmm. not, not to do it um all the time right I, like i've said before i do want a break <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna have a break um like of recording still episodes will go out though like um but um 
a bit of maybe a point maybe later on this year where there's not as many going out as it, as it would be, and that's because uh, well a break like like, like um like Jordan had a a good break with his show, um like um maybe a break just to get maybe a website on the way, um having more yeah. time to sit down, um and think about that and and think about the merchandise side of things, um with maybe an episode going out um every now and then like a lot of these seasonal episodes like different times of the year like a certain episode or something um which yeah. i sprung to mind about ibd day and stuff um because that, that's, that's an iconic time of the year yeah that'd be great i think it's a great idea you know i'm you know i'm i really want to just you know kind of explore new approaches to my show just try to you know make kind of just yeah some con better content more compelling content you know, I'm, I'm really trying to grow my audience. I'm really trying to reach as many people as I can with, you know, with, with this, you know, IBD message. Um, and so with that, Mason, um, I think I think we should wrap up our, 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 our World IBD show. Um, so uh, how can people, how can people re find Mason, support Mason and, um, you know, and what you do? Um, well, you, you, you can find my show on um, the majority of platforms, Current and Autism Awareness Advocate, um, where you'll, you'll see it and you can engage with it. And um, at, at the moment, um, we're on like, most platforms, like uh, social media and stuff like that. Um, like with, um, like, known as Advocate for Crohn's, like Advocate underscore for underscore Crohn's, but uh, that, that, that is uh, possibly going to be changed. Um, and, and and the reason is um, because I we do awesome content and crime content on the majority of the two content we do. Um, well, I say we, that's me. <laughs> um, but um, it, 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 like I, I, I think about changing it to add autism into it somehow um, because I feel like it, it, that, that will give the audience that it's, I, I spread content about crime and autism because um, not just crimes and and I, like, like, but at the moment, it's Advocate for Crohn's. That's on YouTube as well. On uh, on Facebook at the moment, it's my journey with Crohn's disease. Which um, I, once this change is done, um, you, you you you'll know. Um, but but yeah, I, 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 that that's where you can find me. Um, at, at, like with, with those kind of names and uh, and stuff. But with Jordan, uh, where, where can they find you? They can find me. Um... Well, first and foremost, uh, if you want to, if you'd like to be a guest on the Crohn's Veteran Podcast, uh, you can email me at Jordan at Crohn's Veteran, C R O H N S V E T E R A N, Crohn's Veteran.com. I would love to talk to you. I'd love to hear from you. You, um, you also can reach, you also can reach me on my website, which is www.crohn's Uh, you can check out, you know, most recent episodes. You can check out, the merch store is a direct link to, to the store on there. Um, it's, it's this great, great place to be. Check it out. Ch check out the website. Please support me. Um, also, the podcast itself uh, is on Anchor. It's on uh, Spotify. It's on Apple. It's on Google. Everywhere. YouTube. Uh, you know, follow, like, subscribe, support, share, all that good stuff. Um, you know, it, it, it means the world to me. Um, you know, your support matters. Uh, you know, and sharing and listening, streaming, all that matters. So, um, so, please, so, so please listen to all the episodes, please share, and please, you know, give me some feedback on, on how I can, you know, uh, serve the IBD community better. And, yeah. Um, yeah. and so that's what, so that's what I got. Uh, um, and also, of course, I'm, I'm on a Crohn's Veteran on Instagram and official, official dot Crohn's Veteran uh, for the, uh, or Crohn's Veteran for myself on Instagram and then official dot Crohn's Veteran uh, for the podcast yeah yeah definitely and last few things before we finish Jordan, I, was, I was thinking about um because on my show i i always ask the guests at the end um for any advice that they would give um uh and like is there any advice that maybe uh maybe we can both share a bit of advice before we go like is there any advice that you would give to anyone yes um they think it's think, think a great idea mason a great idea and so um the advice that i would give to anybody out there with Crohn's disease or, or IBD um, or anybody going through adversity um, is to A, always believe in yourself, um, don't give up and be very careful who you make an outside authority on your life. Be careful 
who you let tell who you are, you know, like, um, because the, the people with IBD, you know, you can, you can say, I'm going through this. And then, you know, somebody close to you, you know, can, you know, can say, well, Mason, maybe you shouldn't have had that candy bar, you know, like, you know, like you can eat yourself, like you can, you know, eat yourself to better health or something like that's an example. And so, and so it's, so it's, so it's really important, I would say to, um, you know, uh, be honest with yourself, you know, and, you know, and be, and be very aware, you know, of the people that are in your circle because Crohn's disease is an IBD is, you know, is such a, um, it can be all encompassing sometimes. And so um, my advice is to, uh, you know, really work hard on having a circle, having a support system in your life that really supports you, loves you, you know, and is gonna, you know, is kind of gunning for your success. Um, you know, not only with your health, but in life, but in life. Yeah, yeah, I completely agree with you say more, uh, Jordan, um, because um, it, it is, um, yeah, it's very important. And, and like you say, like, um, what we've mentioned that candy bar, um, like having a Crohn's doesn't, it's, it's not a bad thing. Um, like that may be edible for us, and we may not be able to have like good things that are, are classed as good things um, that are, are good for our health, but like I, I speak to like I speak to some people normally, and, and that always comes up. But as things we like food, we eat what we can when we can, and when we want, we 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 can't appreciate that because not everyone gets that privilege <laughs> to eat to right. eat what we can and and stuff. Because we, we never know when a flare up's going to happen, when something will go down with us. Right. Yeah. You know, it's kind of like we're rolling the dice. You know. Um, just because you're able to eat that piece of toast yesterday doesn't mean you're able to eat that piece of toast today. Definitely, definitely. And, and, I and, so, um, yeah. and so I would say it again, you know, an invisible illness, you know, no one, you know, no one, there's no gain from making up an inflammatory bowel disease. So, so if somebody says, you know, I have an inflammatory bowel disease and this is how it affects my life, please believe them. You know, and uh, and and please, you know, support those people um, because you know they're trying to make life happen um, with all these things going on in the background. And so, and so, I, so, you know, so my my advice to the people without IBD out there is to you know is to you know is to be kind to you know to those you know is to um, practice empathy and compassion. Yeah. Practice empathy and compassion for the people in your lives that you know that deal with these conditions um, because. Uh, you, you never know how your, you know, kind words or kind actions can, you know, change somebody's life and impact somebody's life. Definitely, definitely. I completely agree again, Jordan. And just to finish up, I'll give some maybe advice that I'll give out sure. um, too. Um, I think that it's important to, um, like, if you're in pain or you're, you're struggling and um, it's to get checked uh, and dramatically push to get checked because, when I was getting diagnosed, didn't think any of it, and doctors and places didn't really think of it as well. Like um, the day I said I had to wait another month, and I couldn't wait another month, and I would have needed surgery if I waited that extra month. So it's always try and push. I know it can be hard, um, and like when you get diagnosed, it's probably the hardest part of your journey. But um, like although other parts can be hard too, but once you get that diagnosis, it does start to get easier, doesn't it? Um, a little bit yeah. even though we have you know, our bad days our good days but I'll say just be the best person you can be because um like I'm here like like like, like my most people know they watch the show I don't normally have a background <laughs> um because I, I I thought background today because it's World IBD day and it's not every day that we'll see the world behind me <laughs> yeah, yeah. on an episode but but yeah I, I think just just be yourself like vent out it's okay to cry because um that, that there is a stigma about like men crying isn't there jordan um there is. about, emotions, yeah. emotions are normal you know it's okay to have you know, it's okay to have emotions it's okay to you know i said you know uh, maybe practice practice you know care on you know on who you're vulnerable around or you know and or, or actually may pay attention pay attention to how your vulnerability you know affects the people around you and so, um, because, you know, that, you know, just, uh, I was just talking to my, 
I was talking to a family member about this, you know, you know about vulnerability. And, you know, they say, yeah, and to me, vulnerability is a really good filter, you know, of, you know, for, you know, for, the, for the people around you. So like, hey, like, you know, oh, wow, you know, Mason told me he goes through these kind of, you know, symptoms. Jordan said that he goes through these type of symptoms. And how do people take that, you know, around you? And so, um, and then that will really, that will really help you decide, you know, who's in the, you know, who's rooting for you. Yeah, yeah, because like, like people go, look, you see in the community, lots of people do create these pages around it and you feel like, like, I suppose people wouldn't understand it if you just didn't maybe create an account or a podcast around what we do. And we do it because we want to do it. Like, we didn't have to do a podcast in the first place, did we, Jordan? <laughs> no, no, it's that this is literally because, you know, I want to, because you want to, you know, no one's, no one's making us, you know, we're not obligated, we're not pressured. <laughs> Um, you know, I, you know, but um, one one advice, like you know, practice, you know, practice aggressive self love and self care. You know, and, pra- and practice, you know, very healthy boundaries. It does not mean being mean to people. It does not mean being, you know, uh, you know, harsh or anything like that. But you know, protect your peace, protect your health. You know, you know, practice self love, practice self care. Go outside, get fresh air. Yeah. You know, do what you got to do to you know to maintain your own peace. Um, because it is, again, you can't, you know, yeah, you, you, your, your, um, your mindset and your physical health are directly tied. And so it was like, you can't just eat, you can't just eat better food and take medicine and, you know, say, I'll, I'll be better because if upstairs, you know, if you're, if the, if the way you, you know, you view yourself and you view the way you view the world isn't out of line, you'll still be sick. Definitely. Well, completely agree. Can't agree more because... Mm-hmm. Like health is really important, and and being uh, self care is important as well. So, I completely um, completely agree. George. It's a journey. It's a journey. So again, it's a journey. Don't beat yourself up. You know, I said practice self. I said practice self love. You know, tell yourself nice things, and that's it. It's a journey. You know, um, you, you know, it's a, it's a life is a marathon. So you know, just just take it, just take it one day at a time. And yeah, I said you know, um, and also you know, um. Again, outside authority. So if you feel like your doctors or whatever aren't the right fit, you know, ask questions. You know, be you know like uh, be assertive. You know, advocate for yourself. Um, you know, and uh, you know, and just yeah, just you know, and ask. You know, of course, you know, engage with the IBD community out there too if you haven't. So yeah, um, yeah. You no, know, I said you know, um, Mason's you know Mason's out there. You know, to talk to. I'm you know I'm here. There's a lot of other people, a lot of great resources. You know, out there, you know, there's so many resources out there. So, um, but with that, uh, again, you know, thanks, thanks everybody for you know for listening to the show. If you you know if you found if you found value in what we do, you know, please support us. You know, it it means it means the world, and uh, you know, and you know, and again, uh, check me out, uh, crownsveteran.com and Mason. Where can they find you again? Advocate for crimes, um, but that, that's all to be in a work of uh, probably change. It's more autism involvement too. Um, but at the moment, advocate for crimes on Instagram, on YouTube, um, on 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 Facebook. We got um, my journey with Crohn's disease, and podcast um, um, Crohn's autism awareness advocate on Spotify, Anchor, um, Apple, um, anywhere that you listen to your lovely uh, podcast shows. Awesome, well, awesome. Well, well again. Uh, you know, I'm Jordan McConnell, Crohn's, Crohn's Veteran Podcast, and you know, thank, thank you for for joining us. And uh, take care, and much love and respect. Thanks, guys.